not many fights on the main card that we all have plays on. Uh, I knew that uh, the Pueo here against Padilla in the first fight here on the main card, we do have some action, and it comes from Kyle. And you're looking to the dog side here. What do you what do you like with Luis? Yeah. So when you watch Padilla's fights, and I watched four of them in particular, the Kyle Nelson fight he just had. He's a really skilled guy, but he's slight. He's not very strong. And the guys who have success against him, you see him, they kind of are just more physical than he is. They, he can't get the takedowns. He can't. His shots don't really hurt them. He's not a power guy. So he's got to use his finesse, and, and he's certainly the slicker of the two. This Puelo guy, I was able to find some tape on him, a, a fight yep. pass. South America, I think he's from Peru, which, as we all know, if you don't know, I, I did a fourth-grade project on Peru. I know more about Peru than I should. Nine-year-old Kyle really loved the country of Peru. I had this little packet and I was super proud of it. I think my mom still has it somewhere. Shout out to mom for saving my cool stuff. But uh, Peru is up at elevation, much like uh, Colorado. And these guys that train that this is a strong dude. He's going to come forward. He's going to pressure certainly the more power of the two. And I kind of just see him physically controlling P Padilla here a little bit, not necessarily knocking him out. I, I don't hate the double chance shot of knocking him out because he does hit hard, but I, I think the judges are going to reward the bigger shots, the guy coming forward, the guy putting the pressure, and the guy who's more physical. I think win by decision here at plus 450 for this bigger, stronger guy from South America, I'll take it. I would just worry about – I'm with you. I saw some of that tape as well. Really impressive. You would hope that for, for your play to hit that he can uh, – I like the dog uh, slight play here, but – to go all 15 and get that decision victory. I see what you're doing there, Kyle. By the way, fourth grade project for me was on dinosaurs. I do believe mm. that Triceratops should be the rightful king of the dinosaurs, not T-Rex. Wow. That's a discussion for another day. Uh, look, if you set those odds, wow. Triceratops would be about plus 250. I'd take him six days a week, twice on Sundays to beat T-Rex, get inside that guard of, uh, of uh, T-Rex. Yeah, short arms, get inside. <laughs> Uh, Matty, <laughs> hmm, I see it. So I'm doing I'm doing things on dinosaurs. Kyle's doing them on Peru, and that leads him to his victory here. What were you doing in fourth grade? Uh, honest answer, I was probably playing poker stars on my laptop. <laughs> in fourth grade? <laughs> this child needs a mother. <laughs> I, I can't. I came out of the womb betting on sports and gambling. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I was no actually, place at a final you. table with Bruce Buffer on Poker Stars uh, in one of those tournaments. Whoa. You know, he had the special icon because he was one of the spokesmen. And I was at the final table with him. It was pretty cool. Years ago, of course. Did you win? No, 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 I didn't. I think I finished seventh or eighth in that one. You know, when I get to those final tables and I get a pocket pair, I'm very aggressive. And sometimes that doesn't pay <laughs> off. <laughs> I like the aggressive nature. All right, so that yeah. is your official play here in the first fight. You're going to go with Luis via decision at over a four to one price tag there. So some solid plus money here that uh, Maddie's found on the other card and Kyle has made here uh, potentially on the first fight of the main card. Yeah.